Many people who experience pain when talking come to me and ask for vocal exercises for, to lessen their pain. I tell them to think about their pain in a different way. In this video, I am sharing five facts from pain signs that can change the way how you think about your pain and help you lessen the perception of pain in your voice. Hi, my name is Katerina. I'm the founder of Vocal Freedom System for the Speaking Voice, where I help people reduce tension, strain, or even pain when speaking and get them back to speaking with a strong voice that lasts. And in this video, let's talk about pain. When people approach me to help them with their vocal pain, I don't give them vocal exercises. I always ask them to start learning about pain and how we perceive pain and then give them mind, body, voice exercises to start lowering their perception of pain. That's because our understanding of pain has changed over the last five to 10 years. Pain research has made fascinating discoveries and I want to share some of them with you because knowledge is part of the solution. The more you know about pain, the less pain you feel. Before I start, I want to make a clear distinction between acute pain and chronic pain. Acute pain is a reaction of the body to an injury or damage to the body tissue. For example, when you touch a hot plate or when you cut your finger. Chronic pain is the sensation that you feel after an injury has healed or a sensation that has no apparent reason. So here are five pain science facts. Number one, pain is a danger signal. Pain is a danger signal like a fire alarm. Its purpose is to let us know that there is a problem. The pain is meant to help you. The brain is telling you there is a risk of causing more damage. Please do something about it or please stop doing what you are doing. When this system works properly, it helps our bodies to stay away from harm and heal. Number two, pain is complex. The sensation of pain is much more complicated than we originally thought. There is not one pain center in the brain. Functional MRI studies found that multiple areas of the brain are associated with pain and more specifically 44 different areas in the brain, including parts associated with learning, memory, long-term planning or mood. And the fascinating fact is that the higher brain centers associated with mood, memory, and long-term planning can block pain or enhance it. Number three, chronic pain is a false alarm. At the center of chronic pain is the significance the brain attaches to pain and to all the things that might cause it. Our brains are not perfect and they can misinterpret signals from the body. The brain receives thousands of messages from the body every second. Unfortunately, the brain can misinterpret normal messages from the body as danger signals. In this case, the body is fine, but the brain creates pain anyway. I call this learned pain. It's like a false alarm. The alarm goes off, but there is no fire. Number four, the perception of pain is affected by our belief system. As we go through our lives, we develop wear and tear in our bodies and we develop compensatory strategies. This process is absolutely normal, but some people develop pain and some don't. Why? Well, the answer is not easy as there are many different factors, but the one major factor is the way how we react to the sensations in our body. Chronic pain doesn't come from the body or voice but from our beliefs about pain, from our beliefs about the causes of pain and our beliefs about how we can influence the pain. Learned pain is a fundamentally different kind of pain. Our brains are powerful and complex. They can generate and maintain pain. It's counterintuitive because pain feels like it's coming from the body and vocal pain feels like it's coming from the voice but chronic pain is learned and it's coming from our brains. Fact number five, chronic pain can be unlearned. With the new way of thinking about chronic pain, we now know that chronic pain can be unlearned. We can unlearn it with mind-body exercises that target the brain. 
you can unlearn chronic pain you can rewire the brain to feel less pain it's absolutely possible and that's what we do in our group coaching program vocal freedom system for the speaking voice if you want to be part of this program where i teach you how to get rid of vocal pain for good and get you back to speaking on a daily basis with a strong voice that lasts all day long without worrying about the voice and without spending valuable time on vocal exercises that do not work click the link in the description of this video to learn more about our program and apply to work with me stay in touch by subscribing or following if you found this video helpful click the like button and check out my other videos right here see you soon <laughs> bye